10-15, the Saints win their first regular season game against the Tennessee Titans. 16-15, the defense play a big role in the victory. And the Athletics' Larry Holder joins us now to recap the game. What's up, Larry? How you doing? I don't know this set. Like, yeah, this I feel new, like, should right? I just kick back? I mean, yeah, should dude, we just relax, lament right? yeah. or, or, or praise the Saints or whatever? Like, I, I, I feel really comfortable here. I know. We can see your shoes now. So this is... Uh, oh, no. Usually I wear flip-flops and shorts when we, <laughs> when we do a 9 o'clock segment or 8 a.m. segment. Especially after a long, hard day of watching football, as you did yesterday. It is work for me. It is. It is. You're getting paid to do it. Uh, so, oh, I mean, but looking at the Saints, man, so great to walk away with a win. Uh, some, you saw some good things yesterday, right? Yeah, absolutely. And look, all eyes are going to be on Derek Carr. I mean, we know that. And the first half wasn't exactly the offense's greatest moment or the team's greatest moment. Uh, look, that interception at the end of the half, he said, that's on me, and it really was on him. But I do think, though, that he was running around far too much, being pressured far too much in that first half. They kind of shored that thing up in the second half. But I will say uh, something that's probably a little underrated – Look, he completed almost 70% of his passes. That's exactly what you want from Derek yes. Carr. And that actually 69.8%. Uh, he only did that once last year. One time better with the Raiders, showing that there's improvement within the Saints offense, his feel with the system. And uh, look, Tennessee, their defense is pretty good. So I, I don't think that we should say, oh my gosh, this offense it's back to last right. year. I think it's a, bit, a work in progress. That defensive front is very good for Tennessee. You saw some great catches from Michael Thomas. You saw Rashid Shaheed out there make up for that fumble. Uh, that was a little ticky-tacky uh, when they overturned it. And uh, even Chris Olave getting in on the mix, too. So the weapons are there. Right? I think Chris Olave, the fact that you got him going, and he was really on point with him. And you saw that really getting going in the second half. And, look, just being able to feel confident going to Shaheed late in the game, that big catch really sealed it. And, uh, of course, the touchdown reception uh, from Shahid, uh, that's exactly what you want that offense to be clicking. You want that run game to be a little bit better. So I'm curious to see how they respond uh, against the Panthers uh, on Monday night, which is a good defense. But still, a win is a win is a win. Absolutely. Take it any way you can get it. And how about that young man right there? He was the highest scorer on the team, Blake Groupie. Uh, that was a tough decision for the coach to make. Maybe it wasn't when you – hear that you might get a pick out of it but so let's uh let's break it down the immediate response was Blake Groupie the right pick at the kicker position week one absolutely why don't you call Sean Payton and see uh, what he's saying about it because obviously the Saints traded away Will Lutz uh the Saints won by one point Blake Groupie made all of his field goals yep. and an extra point and guess what Will Lutz missed his one field goal attempt missed his one extra point try and guess what the Broncos lost by one point. Yeah, I remember a couple of games last season that the Saints lost by one point and there were a few missed kicks. So uh, you get that seventh round pick, you send Lutz to Sean Payton, and Groupie might have a few groupies of his own after this. Right? Look, Will Lutz, uh, you could probably get a nickname for him. Uh, I'm pretty sure Blake Groupie, he's, you can get a nickname for him too. I love it, I love it. Well, all right, well, here we are. The Saints going to the Super Bowl then, right? I mean, <laughs> everybody can go if you attend it, but only two teams go. So, hey, let's uh, – look, you just go 1-0 and every week. I will be uh, the eternal optimist, week. and Larry will put me in my place each week. Uh, but we will make sure that uh, we tell you all about the Saints right here. Thank you so much for joining us, as always. You got it, but they are on pace to go undefeated. That's it, right now. They're undefeated right now. Saints on pace undefeated. to go undefeated. I love this guy. All right, thanks, Larry. <laughs> you got it. Time now.